New developments now in the case of a Darianne man at the center of an international manslaughter case. Scott Hapgood skipped his court hearing in Anguilla. Instead, he stayed in Connecticut. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter in our newsroom with free action. Marissa? Dallas Scott Hapgood had returned to the island for hearings three previous times, telling the media he was intent on clearing his name. Today, a spokesperson said Hapgood can't go back because officials there won't give, a, give him rather a fair trial or guarantee his safety. Scotty, hang in there, kid. Two weeks after the Darien community came out to support Scott Hapgood, the father of three chose not to return to Anguilla and attend the latest hearing in his manslaughter case. All we wanted to do was vacation as a family. This nightmare is my new reality. Hapgood is accused of killing Kenny Mitchell, a handyman at the Five Star Resort where the Hapgood stayed in April. This morning, a spokesperson for the family said Hapgood's legal team and federal lawmakers tried to guarantee Hapgood would be protected on the island and allowed to return home on bail after the hearing ended. But Anguilla officials couldn't make those assurances. There were certainly threats to the safety and security of Scott Hapgood, and there were justified fears about the fairness of the legal proceeding. Hapgood says what happened was self-defense, that Mitchell showed up to the family's room unannounced and tried to rob them. The initial autopsy ruled Mitchell was choked and beat to death. All Anguillians want and all Mr. Hapgood should want is justice. Hayden Hughes is a radio talk show host on Anguilla and a former member of parliament. Hughes says skipping this hearing is proof Hapgood is running from a trial. There is no precedent to say that he wouldn't get a fair trial. Um, I think it's all public relations. I think it's optics. I think it's trying to pull on the, the heartstrings of many people in Anguilla. Hapgood's attorney released a statement disputing that, saying in part, there is nothing Scott wants more than to clear his name and get his life back. But he cannot clear his name if he is dead or if the legal process by which he is bound is fundamentally biased and unjust. Senator Blumenthal said today he will continue to support the Hapgoods, but he made clear this was a decision made by the Hapgood family, not by United States senators or the State Department. It's not known what will happen next, but it is clear people in two countries will be watching. In the newsroom, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Two countries with two very different reactions. All right, Marissa.